NFL 22 on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Giants and the Pats on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the New York Giants. Brandon Gordon here with Charles Davis and CD. You look at our two quarterbacks in this one, each of them in his own way with something to prove, you think, for 2021. Daniel Jones of the Giants, Cam Newton of the Patriots. And Brandon, I'll tell you, the word fear comes to mind because we know that fear is a great motivator in this league. Fear of losing your... Two of the more memorable Super Bowls in recent history. The Giants and Patriots are underway again. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. James White, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. A shotgun snap for Newton. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings this one all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. The former number six overall pick of 2019, Daniel Jones, trots out to lead this New York Giants offense. I still remember when he was drafted, there was a little bit of controversy about how high he was selected by the New York Giants, but his talents were revealed. He can make every throw in the book. Surprisingly good athlete. As long as he takes care of the football, doesn't turn it over, he can really make plays. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. Well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. Now they go for it on fourth down, but that pass is knocked away and incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Patriots get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. And while they hope to continue this drive, it's really already mission accomplished. They've given enough space now that they have to pump the ball. They've done so with that first run. Evades him at the 10. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. 
That old line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second. And, the and he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Running out of the gun with White. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Call it a three-yard gain, but they'll be forced to do a third and 15 coming up. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Here's Newton. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Let's go, boys. Give the sack to Lorenzo Carter. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. They can put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. The Patriots send out their punter. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out of there. Returning his peppers. Oh, still going. A nice punt, but a good run back as well. 13 yards. And the Giants will begin this drive in good shape. First and 10. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Pats are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. CD, he tried to kind of lob that one in there. It looked pretty going through the air. The problem was it, it was in the air a little bit too long. Yeah, that's a tough one because for that type of a route and what he tried to do and needed to do, he had to put a little air under it, and the defender was actually able to take advantage of it because it hung up there just long enough for him to get there and take it away. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. Leonard Williams able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. And that'll be incomplete. The flag was down, so they took a shot, thinking it's on the defense. Let's see. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. This offense has definitely been slow getting out of the gate. It's almost like they missed their wake-up call for this one. No points on their first two possessions, and now it's looking like none on this one either. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Here comes Peppers. Fighting his way through contact. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And it'll be giant football first and 10. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. They can't tackle him. <laughs> Touchdown, Giants. Saquon Barkley, 55 yards. And the Giants are going to take a first quarter lead. 
Well, with Saquon Barkley, you often think of the elusiveness, the quickness, but he can definitely run with purpose as well, and he's able to shed a tackler there and continue on. Yeah, and this is one of the best runs you'll see. A lot of times on these long touchdowns, you'll see he gets into the end zone untouched, but not here. He fought his way through contact, and it barely even registered, and he just continued down the field all the way to the end zone. Graham Gano on for the extra point. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more Come onto there, their buddy. lead. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you're at the 15-yard line on a PAT as opposed to just going